can spend a lot of time talking about why I think down is great. Birds use it. They've been using it for millions of years. The insulation value and warmth it can provide based on the weight ratio cannot be reproduced in any other fill material. It needs a little bit of body heat and some moisture. The down will open up and that's a natural occurring beautiful phenomenon that provides the loft, the insulation, and all of those things. My name is Matt Lieber. I'm the CEO for International Down and Feather Laboratories in Salt Lake and in Europe. We're a third generation family company. My grandfather founded it 40 years ago, and we have been focusing on this niche market of filled textiles. Down and Feathers is a very interesting product because the end consumer, they never see it and they never physically touch the Down and Feathers. Yet they're paying a premium for their product. Every lot that's produced, there are some variations. This means it's vital to have a regular testing program. We at IDFL test everything that has to do with filled textile products. We test for every standard, so we'd have to be in the hundreds of tests that we perform in-house. So there's four metrics that I look at. One is you have fill power, measuring the loft. You have down cluster percentage, differentiating between different down products. And then you have specie, is it goose or duck? And then recently we have DWR. Composition is everything when we're talking about down and feathers. We wish there was a fancy machine that you could test the composition. The composition test has been around for a long time. It requires two things, experience and a lot of patience. The testers that do this may spend an hour or up to five, six, seven hours separating one two gram sample. And the only way to test this is by hand and you're separating each component into little beakers. We're identifying all of the different components that are within the down and feather plumage. And then it's by weight to evaluate the percentages. Down clusters, feathers, down fibers, feather fibers, residue. The higher the down cluster, the less other unwanted components are in the plumage. If we would then want to see, is this goose or duck, we then have to move with the material to a microfiche, magnify the down cluster, and we then can identify very easily if it's goose or duck. We care if it's goose down or duck down if you're wanting to have loft. And on average, the goose is a larger bird, which means you're gonna have larger down clusters. And if you have a larger down cluster, then you're gonna have a higher loft, which provides the warmth and protection that you seek for outdoor. The reason a higher fill power rating is better, you can make a really warm product with a lower fill power. But if you introduce an 850 fill down into a product, you're gonna produce a lighter weight product. The tech, when it receives a sample, it will empty it into a fill power box. So the technician will steam the material on all four sides until it's completely saturated. Then the technician will take a dryer and blow dry it until it's completely dry. This allows the down to return to its original state. We take it to uh, the testing room. We then take 30 grams by hand and we place it into a cylinder. The cylinder is a set size that's used all over the world for fill power testing. Once the 30 grams have been placed, we take a plate that's a specific weight with a rod and we let it drop, sink naturally until it stops. And once it stops, then we can measure the volume, which then can be calculated to the loft. If you're out in the field and the down gets wet and it's really saturated, then you lose your warmth, you lose your loft. And that could be catastrophic depending on the situation you're in. The DWR will extend the time at which uh, down would become saturated. DWR can be added on the down to provide another barrier of safety. That's something to seriously look at when 
looking at a down jacket to purchase. For the hydrophobic shake test, what we're testing for is how much time elapses before the down becomes saturated. So the basic steps are, we take some down, we place it in a jar, we add some water, we then set it on a shaker, and it shakes. We're then stopping it at intervals to evaluate how far along it is and what rating it should be given. A level five would be there's really no saturation and the down is still retaining its loft and warmth capabilities. Once it gets to a level one, that means it's really fully saturated and completely wet. We've got 150 people working at IDFL worldwide, and they all have found that down and feathers, even though it sounds boring, is actually pretty exciting. It's a small worldwide industry, and there's a lot of unique uh, opportunities within the down and feather industry. It's a product that's naturally produced. It's a great product to work with and to test. First, let me tell you what not to do. Don't go base on, is it puffy or not? That's the worst way to go about checking for a down jacket. My recommendation is check the label, see what the claims are. Does it give you the information you want um, and what you're looking for? Whether it's fill power, down cluster, goose or duck. Educate yourself a little bit about what these basic factors mean. They could be the difference between being warm or cold in whatever uh, activity you're doing uh, outdoors.